Talking about food, it's important to know that there are seven foods that can be harmful, even deadly, if not handled properly. Note that this video is for educational purposes only and does not aim to replace your doctors and dietitians. Let's start with the first one, green potatoes. If you're following a keto diet, you're already avoiding potatoes, so this isn't a concern for you. However, for those who do eat potatoes, it's crucial to steer clear of the ones with a green tint. This green color is a mix of chlorophyll and a substance called solanine, which is harmful to your nerves. It can be dangerous in amounts of about 3 to 6 milligrams per kilogram of your body weight. Potatoes can contain between 30 and 50 milligrams of this toxin. But remember, the risk is mainly in the green parts of the potato. So, if you're not on a keto diet and you happen to eat potatoes, make sure to remove any green areas first. Interestingly, the average person in the U.S. eats about one potato every day. Since many people are avoiding potatoes due to keto diets, others might be consuming more, often in forms like potato chips or french fries. It's worth noting that solanine found in potatoes acts as a natural pesticide to protect the plant. However, this compound can be harmful to humans, leading to symptoms like nausea, vomiting, internal bleeding, paralysis, coma, and in severe cases, death. Moving on to the second food, let's talk about nutmeg. This common spice contains a toxic component called myristicin. Small amounts like two milligrams can cause fever and headaches. In larger doses, around 7.3 grams, it can lead to loss of consciousness. Eating an entire nutmeg can result in what's known as nutmeg psychosis. This happens because nutmeg can mimic certain psychoactive substances found in some medications. There was a case where an eight-year-old tragically passed away after eating two whole nutmegs. This shows how dangerous they can be. So, it's important to use nutmeg sparingly in your cooking. Next, let's talk about green raw almonds and raw cashews. These nuts, especially when bitter, can contain cyanide, a harmful substance. However, you'd need to eat a significant amount to be in danger. Likely over a thousand nuts or more than 50 ounces, it's very unlikely that someone would consume that much. Keep in mind that even small amounts of these nuts, like bitter, almonds, and raw cashews, can have a little cyanide. To be safer, choose sweet almonds instead. Roasting them also reduces the cyanide content significantly. Cyanide side effects include seizures and breathing problems and can even be fatal. Interestingly, there's an antidote for cyanide poisoning, hydroxycobalamin. This is a type of B12 supplement that can neutralize cyanide by transforming it into cyanocobalamin, another B12 form. Next, we have cashews. Cashew shells are hazardous due to anacardic acids, phenolic lipids found in the shell of the cashew nut. These acids are a form of urushiol, causing allergic skin reactions known as urushiol-induced contact dermatitis. Anacardic acid, a yellow liquid, consists of organic compounds with each molecule featuring salicylic acid linked to an alkyl chain of 15 or 17 carbon atoms. The alkyl group saturation varies, affecting the compound's toxicity, and this composition differs based on the plant species. Microwave popcorn. This is very common in the American household. Whenever we want something as spontaneous as microwave popcorn, it comes with a price. The concern with microwave popcorn primarily revolves around the microwave, safe bags used to house the kernels. These bags contain chemicals like perfluoroctanoic acid and perfluoroctane sulfonate, which are also used in Teflon nonstick coatings. PFOA, in particular, has been linked to various health issues, including kidney cancer, testicular cancer, ulcerative colitis, thyroid disease, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure during pregnancy. A study published in the Journal of Endocrinological Investigation specifically connected these chemicals to hypothyroidism, particularly in women. Additionally, consuming microwave popcorn has been associated with higher concentrations of PFOA and PFOS in the blood. These chemicals have a long half-life in the human body, remaining for 3.5 and 4.8 years, respectively. Now, Let's talk about red kidney beans. These beans need to be properly prepared to avoid toxicity. Always soak them for at least five hours and then boil them for at least 30 minutes. Slow cooking them without enough boiling time can actually make them five times more toxic. The harmful substance in uncooked red kidney beans is called PHA, which causes red and white blood cells to clump together. This can lead to symptoms like diarrhea, stomach pain, vomiting, and in severe cases, even death. 
However, there haven't been any reported human fatalities, mainly rat deaths. Studies show that if rats consume 1% of this compound, they don't survive beyond two weeks. So it's a bad idea to feed undercooked red kidney beans to small pets like gerbils and hamsters. People on a keto diet typically don't eat many beans, so they have less risk. Next topic, brown rice. Those on a keto diet usually don't eat brown rice, but it's good to know that it contains arsenic, which is linked to heart disease, bladder cancer, and other health issues. This happens because the fields where brown rice is grown were often used for cotton crops, which were heavily treated with arsenic-based pesticides. Even though these practices have mostly stopped, the soil still retains arsenic, which can be absorbed by plants, particularly brown rice. Brown rice has been found to contain high levels of arsenic, more than 160 times the amount that's considered a cancer risk. Arsenic was also used in chicken feed to promote weight gain and increase feed efficiency, which means the chickens became so large they didn't feel the need to eat more. Most companies have stopped using arsenic in feed, but this wasn't always the case. For example, it was used in turkey feed until 2011, and its use dates back to the 1940s and so. There's a chance we've all been exposed to some level of arsenic. Eating organic chicken is a safer option. A common sign of arsenic poisoning is the appearance of white horizontal lines on your nails. If you see these, it could mean there's too much arsenic in your system. Interestingly, there are some natural antidotes to arsenic poisoning, like blue-green algae, selenium, and zinc. Now, let's talk about the risks of eating uncooked or undercooked hamburger meat. The main concern here is E. coli, a harmful bacteria. One particularly dangerous strain is veritoxigenic E. coli, which can severely damage your kidneys, led to widespread infection, coma, and even death. To avoid this, it's crucial to buy high-quality beef and ensure it's well-cooked, reducing the risk of E. coli. High-quality beef is less likely to have harmful pathogens like salmonella or E. coli, which typically come from the cow's intestines and can contaminate the meat during processing. Next, let's discuss cherry pits. You might not think of eating them, but they contain hydrogen cyanide, which is toxic. For example, a red cherry pit has about 3.9 milligrams of cyanide, a black cherry pit has around 2.7 milligrams, and a morello cherry pit contains a whopping 65 milligrams. The toxic level for humans ranges from 0.2 to 1.6 milligrams per pound of body weight. So, if you accidentally swallow a Morello cherry pit, especially if you're lighter in weight, you could exceed the safe limit. Symptoms of cyanide poisoning include stomach pain, nausea, headaches, and other severe, potentially life-threatening symptoms. Apple seeds. Apples are a popular fruit worldwide, but their seeds contain amygdalin, which releases cyanide when digested. While the cyanide content in a single apple seeds is not significant, Consuming over 20 apple cores, which have concentrated seeds, can lead to instant death. Lima beans, originating from the Andes, lima beans are a popular source of protein and fiber. However, they contain cyanide-based compounds, particularly a high concentration of cyanide-based linamarin in their seeds. These compounds are a natural defensive mechanism for the plant to safely consume lima beans. They need to be thoroughly cooked and the boiled water drained. And that wraps up our list of foods to be cautious about. Be aware and take care of yourself.